Now we come to uh, the pattern of what we see with goes with any particular disease. For example, here you get affection in this eye. As you can see, we will say it's a real local change. It's not a media opacity compared also the second eye. And this pattern respect the vertical. So it's a neurological defect. It's a hemianopia. We, we can make this diagnosis. In glaucoma, special changes are going with the glaucoma. These are paracentral scotoma, an island of affection in the central 10 degrees. Arcot scotoma, sedil or arcot sedil is like up to here, but when it reaches to the horizontal, it's an arcot. It occurs between 10 and 20 degrees from point of fixation, respect the horizontal meridian. Nasal step. It's an affection more in the upper compared to the lower or the reverse, more in the lower compared to the upper. Altitudinal defect, this is not an arcuit, it's an affection of almost the upper half. We call this altitudinal defect. And temporal island or temporal wedge. So these are the characteristic changes of glaucoma damage. We have here some affection in the central area. This could be glaucoma. You get affection respecting the horizontal line. Again, this could be glaucoma. You get affection in the lower half and nothing in the upper half. We call this a step, where even you can have affection like here. Again, this is the step. Affection of the whole upper part, altitudinal. We call this a step being some dots affected in one, the lower, but not in the upper, it's a step. It's not like we seen in the kinetic perimetry where we get one contraction and another contraction and they are not one each other, because here we get a matrix of dots examined. So having some dots up and not equal dots in front of them, this is a step. We call this a step. You see, two dots here and more dots up. So this is a step. So we say here, this is a generalized depression. And this is the localized depression. Being up and nothing down, it's a step. We don't depend on the grayscale. We depend on the pattern deviation and the general, the total deviation. If you read it from here, we'll say there is a defect, but here there's nothing. So never depend on the grayscale. Then start to evaluate compatible diseases, check the review literature to see what you are thinking, is it correct or not?